Welcome to the land of pink beaches, shipwrecks, and the birthplace of the world famous cocktail, the Dark and Stormy. It's also one of the few places that was uninhabited when it was discovered in the 1500s. If you want to find out the last uninhabited place that was discovered, wait till the end of the video. Welcome to Bermuda. Three, two, one. Bermuda is a beautiful island country located here. It has a population of nearly 64,000 and 181 islands make up this beautiful archipelago. Okay, you might've realized that this is not Bermuda. This is Bermuda. It is 600 miles due east of North Carolina. So no, it is not in the Caribbean, but actually 900 miles north of it. So Clint and I generally like to adventure around a location and see everything that it has to offer. Basically, we never really sit on a beach or by a pool. But now that we got this little stowaway, things are a little bit different. So this is our first vacation as a family. How crazy is that? Right, Scotland? So we chose Bermuda for two reasons. One, it's a new country for all three of us. So something really special happened. What was it? Scotland got her first passport stamp. That's right. And two, it's less than a two hour flight from New Jersey. So we figured with a newborn, that would be the best way to foray into our first flight. Yes, and fortunately, she was an excellent traveler and made like one peep the entire flight. You said peep. Didn't you? So Clint and I had a, a new parent moment. We had all of our bags, as you can see, five or six bags. Grabbed all of them and we were talking to the taxi driver. Yeah, we're good to go. And then we almost forgot the most special delivery of all, which is our baby. Oh, yeah, the baby. The baby. Ready? Let's go. So are you excited for vacation to start? So Colette got this hysterical little floaty device for Scotland and I cannot wait to take her out. Got a little like, get the sun off of her, it's super floaty and it's pink. It's got these little bells, so if she floats away we'll be able to hear her. It's like a dog leash. You wanna make sure you know when the baby's coming. Come on, let's get in the water. Are you gonna go swim? put her hat on? Oh, oh, so this needs to be tight. Yeah. <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> you having fun? Why so much? Don't worry, <laughs> Too cool for the pool. <laughs> Let's go out to the edge. <laughs> Just to stay for one more day. When the tide pulls us a thousand miles away, I'll see. So now it's time for a few fast facts about Bermuda. Number one, it is a self-governing overseas British territory. 
Bermuda is located about 600 miles east of North Carolina. It is 24 miles long and less than one mile wide. The capital of Bermuda is the city of Hamilton. August is the warmest month and February is the coldest. Bermuda was founded by the Spaniards as early as 1503. And there are quick direct flights from the eastern seaboard of the U.S. And just a friendly reminder that the climate here in Bermuda is similar to that of North Carolina. So if you're looking for a winter getaway, Bermuda is not your place because it's not going to be hot. But if you want to get away in the spring or summer months, this is the perfect place for you. Okay guys, one of my favorite reasons to stay in St. Regis is because they have a champagne savoring at every single St. Regis hotel, every single day. That's right, you can basically get free booze. And who doesn't like free booze? But they do it in the classiest way possible. For us at the St. Regis, we like to celebrate the transition from day to night. Uh, the only way we know how, by savoring a bottle of Prosecco off our terrace. By pulling out a two foot long sword, and basically chopping the top of a champagne bottle off. So we looked back in history and found Napoleon, who would be gifted these bottles of champagne while riding on the back of his horse through the French countryside. And so as one does while riding on horseback, he needed a way to open these bottles conveniently. So he pulled the bottle in one hand, his saber in the other, and sheared the top right off. So now here in Bermuda, we're gonna watch some champagne sabering. And it's Scotland's first champagne champagne saber. Unfortunately, she's not gonna be doing it just this time. But well maybe... her hands are too small. Well, yeah. I we have know. to get a small baby saber. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, 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 gentlemen. There you go. Thank you. Well, well, then. Of course. I'm going to enjoy it anyway. So, we are trying something super adventurous as new parents, and that is leaving the hotel. Who's that baby? Beautiful baby. Did it. We're back. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. The taxis were delayed. So we couldn't get one, so we called it and decided to just stay in. New parents. Bummer though, we actually were like, we had the mojo, we had the We're momentum. ready, she's ready. We got dressed, you got dressed. And you're still in a good mood? All right, so we just learned uh, one of the problems with this island is that there's basically not enough taxis. So if you want to get off, get outside the hotel, you basically have to pre-arrange the taxi. So we have to wait 35, 45 minutes because there just aren't enough taxis, which is not fun when you've got this little one. I don't mean that one, I mean the one that's inside that place. We came down to the capital of Bermuda, Hamilton, and today we actually went to Harry's to have lunch, which is a famous restaurant, right? Yes, it was absolutely delicious. We came for lunch. It is popping at night though. I would recommend coming for dinner. But you know, we have a little bob and spiel, so. Hamilton is roughly a $50 cab ride from the St. Regis, and I recommend bringing plenty of cash here because that's what the taxis want. The other thing I recommend when you're in Bermuda is if you do find a very friendly taxi driver, get their information because yeah. we found that taxis are kind of hard to come by. We should put Carolyn's number. We'll put her link. Yeah, we'll put her number at the <laughs> bottom. There are no rental cars on the island only taxis so if you want to get around it's either taxi or there's a great bus system and the buses run i'm not sure how regularly but the buses run to hamilton to the capital and they run all around the island there's also a ferry that you can take oh, one mile and cross patches and showers early friday but improving to greater than six miles on friday morning Stars shine. Bloody Mary is a tradition at St. Regis hotels around the world. 
And the story goes that in the 1930s at the New York St. Regis, there was a bartender there that perfected the art of the Bloody Mary. Now, St. Regis hotels all over the world have their own unique recipe. Each hotel has their own unique recipe. So here at the St. Regis, they added rum to make their St. Regis Bloody Mary unique. And it's called the Gates Bay Mary. And now, since Colette is on babysitting duty, I will be on the taste testing of the Bloody Mary. So as Colette said, this one is unique to this region. What's special here? Gosling's rum. It's in all the dark and stormies. So this one has a very healthy serving of rum. Whoa. Okay, the rum was on top. First I was like, oh, that's not bad. I don't taste the rum. And then I sipped the top. So I thought it was gonna be bad, to be honest. They put so much rum in here, I thought I was really not gonna like it. But I think the way they blended it with the spices and their mix, you know, the mix is house made, really just makes it special. So if some of you are asking yourselves, how much does it cost per night to stay at the St. Regis? Well, it costs about $1,000 a night to stay here. But Scott and I used Marriott Rewards Points, about 380,000 Marriott Rewards Points, to stay here in July of 2022. Now the St. Regis is a new hotel for Bermuda and it opened in May of 2021 and it is on the east end of Bermuda. If you guys are looking for other hotels to stay at in Bermuda, I would recommend the Loren, L-O-R-E-N. It's a new hotel. And I would also recommend the Rosewood. Okay, so if you're still wondering what the last place to be discovered by humans was, it was Antarctica in 1895. If you liked this fact and liked this video, then please like, subscribe, and check out our Patreon page.